If you've been paying attention at all to the internet lately, you've probably heard of HBO's miniseries titled Chernobyl. Of course, the show is named after the infamous nuclear disaster in 1986. The show's popularity has led to many discussions about nuclear energy and, more specifically, what can go wrong with nuclear reactors. It's important to note that nuclear energy will likely continue to play a key role in humanity's transition to renewable energy, and over the last few decades, scientists and engineers have become much better at refining nuclear energy reactors and processes. Still, there's no denying that mistakes have been made along the way. So, here's a list of five of the worst nuclear power plant accidents to date. Just like with earthquakes, hurricanes, and tsunamis, the severity of nuclear reactor accidents and incidents are measured on a scale. This scale is called the International Nuclear and Radiological Event Scale, or INES. We'll be referencing this scale as we go to help us organize our list. Starting off, we have the Japanese Miyama nuclear power plant incident from August 9th of 2004. This event only ranks at a 1 out of 7 on the INES, which isn't surprising when you consider the incident didn't actually involve any of the nuclear components of the power plant. Instead, a broken pipe began to leak steam and hot water, killing five workers. In January of 1961, the only fatal incident involving a nuclear reactor on U.S. soil occurred. The National Reactor Testing Station in Idaho Falls experienced an explosion in its SL-1 reactor when a control rod was pulled too far away from the reactor. All three people working on the reactor were killed in the explosion, and due to radioactive contamination, had to be buried in lead coffins. This incident received a rank of 3 out of 7 on the INES. In 1997, Japan experienced another nuclear accident. A small explosion at a nuclear reactor in Tokemura required workers to patch broken windows and doors. As a consequence, they were exposed to unhealthy levels of radiation. Just two years later in 1999, another incident would happen. Only this one would be more serious. A group of workers made an error while preparing fuel for a nuclear reactor. While they were preparing the fuel, a fission chain reaction occurred, sending radiation coursing through the bodies of the workers, killing two of them directly. The accident was rated a 4 on the INES. On March 11th of 2011, a magnitude 9 earthquake off the coast of Japan caused a tsunami to flood the Fukushima nuclear reactor. The generators needed to cool the reactors were flooded, leading to meltdowns, explosions, and the release of radioactive material. Two employees died during the flooding, and many experienced varying effects from the radioactive material ranging from nuclear burns to cancer. The radiation from this accident contaminated the local ecosystem and even found its way into the ocean. Because of the scope of its damage, the Fukushima accident was given a 7 on the INES, which is the highest possible rank. It is also one of only two accidents to receive this rank. Finally, on April 26th of 1986, the most infamous nuclear accident occurred when a scheduled safety test went horribly wrong. During the test, nearly all of the control rods in Chernobyl's reactor number 4 malfunctioned, leading to rapid overheating in the reactor. Eventually, a nuclear meltdown occurred and the reactor exploded. Eight tons of radioactive debris were launched into the atmosphere, and over 115,000 people were evacuated from the area. In just a matter of days, over 31 first responders died because of their exposure to the radiation. A massive concrete shell was placed over the destroyed reactor at the time, but now a more stable structure known as the Chernobyl Arch rests over the reactor to shield the surrounding area from the 200 tons of radioactive material that still rests inside. So, there you have it. Keep in mind that these death tolls should be taken with a grain of salt. It's incredibly difficult to accurately measure the death tolls of nuclear accidents because the effects may not manifest until later in life. While these accidents were tragic, nuclear energy is, for the most part, pretty safe. Perhaps one day we will master the art of nuclear fusion and we'll be able to finally put these fission-based accidents behind us.